Hello from my good knife team. 10 hours from Helsinki, 2 hours from Tokyo, and we are here in the northwest part of Japan. This place is called Tsubamu Sanjo, and a lot of cutlery manufacturing are located here. But we will visit the best one. It's called Tajiro. Tajira is one of the leading knife manufacturers in Japan, but still, upon this time, the biggest parts of manufacturing are making by hands. Actually, Tajira has two manufacturers, the old one and the new one, and today we will show you both. Tajiro is one of the biggest knife brands. They are really combining machine manufacturing and handcraft. Today Tajiro has two manufacturers in one place. Our guide Chinjiro Kida explained why. Now we show you uh, our new factory, which is uh, uh, built last year. So this factory is one year old. We built this factory uh, and show insight to the, to the public. Anybody can come and uh, watch what we are doing. And uh, many people nowadays, they are interested in, in this kind of uh, uh, craftsmanship. So, yeah, it is getting quite popular. Now we get inside. In a new factory, visitors can see basic steps of mass knife production. But the most interesting that exactly here in open manufacture, blacksmiths are making hand-forged Tajiro knives. It is very limited edition of kitchen and hunting knives. Here works six blacksmiths, including one master. Master forging the basic workpiece and other workers after that grinding, making and installing the handles, sharpening and polishing knives. There are many steps steps before workpiece becomes the knife, totally handmade Tajiro knife. In Tajiro factory you can see steels and knife handles work pieces before it becomes knife. New manufacture is open, everybody can come here with excursion. Main manufacture is not allowed for visiting. So all videos about Tajiro manufacture that you saw before are from new open manufacture. But for us Kido-san made the exclusion, so today you will see Tajiro main manufacture. Blade production is secret, but other manufacturing processes we will show for The you. main factory is not open to the public. The main part of Tajiro knives are made of VG10 steel or other high carbon steels. All knife work pieces have two steps of heating. After main heating and cooling by water and air, knives are heating one more time, two hours with a low temperature. It makes knives flexible. And after that, work pieces come to grinding department. Each item has to be grinded in different way. So, uh, and it, it takes time to adjust the machine to, for, for the certain items. That's why, uh, for example, this machine goes to chef knives and this machine goes to santoku. That, you know, uh, like that, we need, we need many machines. Grinding is a very important process. There should be correct line, correct thickness and correct length. In Tajiro factory, after matching, there is hand grinding. Masters check all knives and make them ideal with hand grinding. So the grinding machines on this side. And uh, this side is uh, uh, sharpening or hand, hand grinding. They, uh, they grind once again this part and then to the final sharpening. But uh, welding is uh, in, in the, another factory. So after welding, we, we, we put the handle, handle mounting and uh, logo printing. There are different kinds of handles, Western and traditional Japanese. 
Mountain of Japanese handle is making also by hands. This work requires not only physical force, but a very sharp vision. The blade must be perfectly straight to the handle. This is the way how making, for example, popular Tajiro series Zen, Shiragami, Shippu and DP Hammer. When knives go to export, special glue is added. But for domestic Japanese market there is no glue. Japanese cook and chiefs love to change handles, so they take the blade away and install it to the new one. There are uh, two types of handles. One is a uh, stainless steel handle and another is a wood or paka wood uh, black handle. There are three rivets on the handle. And uh, this metal plate, we call this uh, tongue. There are two holes on, on the tongue and we put uh, two rivets on that and we fix it. And the, the final, the third hole, there's no holes inside. So she, what she's doing now is uh, make, make a final hole. hole and uh, fix with a rivet. Why we do this? Because uh, sometimes if, if there are three holes, uh, it doesn't fit. We put the logo on each blade. There's a uh, handle polishing. After mounting the handle, uh, of course, it has to be polished. After handle mounting, knives are sharpening by three steps wet and dry sharpening and polishing. Then knives come to handle and bolster polishing. Some Tajiro knives have matte streaks. This matching that looks like some medical equipment makes these streaks. When the knife is ready, it goes to final step inspection and packaging. Okay, after the uh, handle is polished, the blade is sharpened, uh, yeah. Everything is done. Then we go to the final inspection and uh, packing. In this room, uh, those la ladies, they, uh, they do final inspection. They take a look if there is any scratch or anything wrong with the, with the knife. And they, if, if it's OK, they wipe off everything clean. And then they put it in a box. And then ready to go. And uh, uh, they do like uh, 300 to 400 pieces per day. So, and uh, about 10 people are working here. That means we, we produce like uh, three to 4,000 pieces per day. I was sure that all manufacturing steps at Tajiro factory are made by machines. And now you see how I was surprised. Our factory involves a lot, a lot of uh, handwork. Uh, compared with, uh, for example, a German factory. German factory is very computerized, uh, uh, it's very modern. Everything is uh, done by robot. Uh, that is good, that is good for uh, mass production, but uh, uh, Japanese knives is more, um, I would rather say, more sensitive. It was a really great day with Tajiro and now about five different trains and I will be in Seiki city. This is the center of knife manufacturing in Japan and the nearest day there will be a cutlery festival and for sure we need to visit it.